Hey gang, what you're seeing on this screen right now is a looped animation I did for Adam and Ditto. It's a new intro for their channel. They have a gaming channel and I've been friends with them since high school. They do things like let's plays, lists, and a bunch of other quirky stuff. Today I want to talk to you about how I did the animation, show you some slow down versions of it, and a breakdown. But first, I edit together a little like clip reel for you of the most recent playthrough, Pokemon Crystal. Hope you guys enjoy. What the hell? Bane is evolving! Circles. I am Gotham's Reckoning. They're both kind of making the same pose right now. <laughs> they get ready to hug. Come on. Oh shit, my mom wants to bed. Oh god, what am I calling it? Ah, I'm freaking out. Sandy. No, I, w I wanted it to be something Batman related, but there's I can't think of anything Batman related about fucking Sentrit. Guys, you shouldn't worry about it because I doubt we're gonna be keeping Sentrit in our party for the, the rest whole of game. The game, yes we are. <laughs> oh, here he is! <laughs> On that day, angels descended from the sky. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, go leave a comment and say, hey, Steve sent you, maybe subscribe. But now, let's break down that animation. As you can see, I started with flash animation. This is all frame by frame with some slight tweens with the Pokeball. I sketched out the little logo there because I knew I was going to replace it with a font. What you see now is a half speed. I really want you guys to appreciate some of the frames because I took the time to make these look all really great because I knew it's going to appear in every video. And this was kind of a small animation, so I got really get to spend some time with it. Um, what you see now is all the after effects. What I did with Ditto was I added uh, both to the Ditto and the Pokeball these ramp effects, to, which are basically gradients to make them look a little less flat. On top of that, I added kind of this uh, drop shadow effect to it just to make it kind of have highlights, again, to make it look less flat, as you can see here. Um, for the glows, it's basically taking the Pokemon and duplicating it a couple of times and, um, you know, adding overlays and some simple, um, like, screens and some blurs to give it that glow effect. And eventually, once it gets too much of a mess, I took out the uh, character and just made it a flat color on top of the uh, Pokemon itself. If you guys enjoyed this little breakdown, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe the next animation I'll do it again, but this time with actual, like, me drawing. I didn't know I was going to be doing this. And, like I said, if you enjoy it, let me know. And if you enjoy the Anime Ditto people, go check out their channel, subscribe. Uh, they're really good friends of mine. And I'll see you guys next video.